What's up guys? Today, I'm building a gym in my comfort home. So here are the few things that you need. Basically, it's good enough for me to train my entire body. So I haven't been going to the gym since 15 of February 2020. The reason why is because I'm traveling, right? But I came back, I actually did a 14 days self-quarantine. And after that, the country that I live, Malaysia, the Mao government announced the lockdown. So until today, so since 15 February, until today is how many days? Let's ask Google. 87 days. However, I'm pretty sure that I'm maintaining all my muscle mass by lifting water buckets, doing body weight stuff. So if lifting water buckets and body weight works in terms of maintaining muscle mass, I'm pretty sure just a few simple equipments is good enough to build or to maintain my physique. Brand new, this is dumbbell. Came in a box. Now it's like opening Christmas present. This is, this is what? Wow, this is 20 kilo. 20 kilo is my warm up weight. But you see, not training in the gym for quite some time. It seems like everything gets so heavy, except for my body. I felt like, thanks to all the body weights training and stuff. Oh. Good warm up. So the most important equipment you should invest if you want to build your body at home is dumbbell. So for me, I get a good range from 10 kg to 40 kg range of dumbbell because I deserve the intensity. But for you, you don't have to go buying big range of dumbbell because storage issue. I strongly recommend you to get an adjustable dumbbell. It can be found pretty much everywhere online. Right? It's just me that I find that both flex, for example, is a good range of from up to 5 LB to 90 LBIs. But the biggest problem with it is the price. So I'd rather use the same investment to invest more range of dumbbell that makes my life easier. So since I'll be placing a dumbbell underneath the aircon, so this is why I put this plastic waterproof. But I find that the one problem and that is, it's too short. The water will still contact my dumbbell. So the solution here is I'm going to extend and I'm ready, ready with this one made by cardboard and uh, wrapped with plastic to extend. Done. My house don't have string so I have to use tape temporarily, right? I'll figure a better way of course because there's wind, there's rain, sun, right? But that's how I do it for now. <clears throat> heavy one first. I think a heavy one first. The heavy one is always at the bottom. So I can stack up, save some space. So here's 35 kg, 25 kg. And if you're wondering where is 30 kg, 30 kg, and 40 kg is on the way in a container, will be arriving in the next week, right? So 30 kg will be here, right? Uh, everything will be moved again. So a good range for me is from 10 kg to 40 kg. So I've ordered every 5 kg increment. However, only 10 to 15 in between, I've added 12.5. It's because this range is mostly from small muscles like bicep curl, triceps, uh, kickback, skull crusher. So um, adding 2.5 kg for a lower range is very important in my opinion, right? You want to warm up as well, right? For the rest, 20 kg and above is okay for me to jump 5 kg up to 40 kg as I'll use it for bench press, row. The next most important thing to have is adjustable multi-angle bench. This adjustable bench is a solid one. It's commercial gym standard uh, because I truly believe I need a sturdy bench and a sturdy one can last longer also. Right, so I got to set up, install everything from scratch. There's a lot of step and yeah, kind of enjoy this process. Let's do it.
So, gotta get started reading from the manual. This really scares me. Take a look at this. It looks complicated sometimes, but it's not that hard, I believe, right? The only thing that I need is this a spanner. Yes, finally, after about like 15 to 20 minutes, and this wouldn't be complete without the help of the cameraman behind the scene. This is very sturdy. It's about 45 kg. And the reason why I think you should get a steady one is because, especially if you're doing a bench press. I often find that the bench that is not steady, wobbly, right? It's very dangerous. And what you can do with this bench, adjustable bench, why it's so important is because you can play around with a different degree. For now, right, for the bench press, incline press, you can do military press, go even higher for shoulder press, exercises like preacher curl. Here, you can train your biceps. Or you can just sit on a bench in an inclined degree, right? To give a good stretch on your biceps, curl, so much more you can do. And also this is very good for exercises like this. Support, rowing, to lean on, and row. Right, definitely the bench, this bench will work because it's heavy, it's sturdy enough. If it's a lighter one, especially if you're rowing heavier, the bench will will just go forward, right? So this is very heavy. I can even do a flies up here. This is definitely a must have if you want to train full body. So a couple of tips if you want to get a bench, get a bench that have a roller behind for home use. So it's easy for you to move around. Okay, it's easy for you to move around, change place. And one more tip, if you want to get a bench, make sure that the gap especially adjustable bench. I came across some bench where the, seat, the seating padding and the backrest, there's a big gap here. So you don't want something that have too big gap because when anything like you're doing a flat bench press on a heavy bench press, right? If there's a big gap when you go down, right? It's very bad for, it's very bad for your lower back. So one tip to choose a solid adjustable bench is apart from the weight is make sure the bench is straight parallel without easily to move sideways. Last of all, pull up bar. One of the most important tools to have to train your back and not just back, conditioning, cardio, so much more. So having a guy here installing this because it's, they are pretty solid and requires drill. This is the anti-rust spray. Since my pull-up bar will be exposed under the sun, especially this country, right, tropical country, rain all year round. All right, so we're gonna add a layer later. Almost done. Last crew. And yes. Finally. Oh, solid. Woo! My first pull up, first rep of pull up after 90 days, 80 plus days. The last piece of equipment in order to complete a home gym is a pull-up bar. So a pull-up bar trains your back, obviously, and other than pull-up, you can train your abs. Such as like this, you can do a leg raise, okay, knee raise. So much more you can do. So for me, I installed a solid pull-up bar. You don't necessarily need to get this. This is expensive. 
you can actually find it anywhere on Amazon, eBay, just a door pull up type of pull up bar, it will work. But in my opinion, right, I find this is more secure, more sturdy, and it's a very good investment because when I move to my new place, I can still move this together. So here are the additional things that you can consider other than pull-up bar, dumbbell and bench and that is resistant band, right? They are lightweight and you can travel around with them easily and you can use resistant band with your pull-up bar, right? I haven't got one myself but I'm about to get one and I can actually do a chest slice with pull-up bar and that is as simple as just attach on here, here with resistant band and I can do a chest slice. And other than that, resistant band also can help you to progress your pull-up. So for those of you, if you have a problem doing a pull-up, you can actually use resistant band to assist you, right? It acts like an assistant to help you to pull up easier. So last of all, I can't wait to start my workout once again, right? Today is finally the day I break the no gym commitment and that is I'll be going back to the gym. So I've got to say goodbye to my little pail that helps me along during this lockdown. And for those of you, if you've been working out body weight, don't worry, like I said, body weight works also during these 80 days of training at home, using bucket of water, just body weights workout, helps me to sustain my size, my body fat, and yeah, I'll be keep posting no gym body weight workout also. Don't worry. But as some of you know, how I achieve this body is actually from the gym. So gym training is also one of my favorite workout types because I love lifting heavy, I love the pump, and I love looking a little bit in shape, right? Bigger muscles. Stay tuned, thank you for watching. And if you can, build your own gym, build smart, train smart, and ultimately be consistent. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So other than having your equipment, one thing you also must consider is how you keep your equipment. Right, so maybe you're wondering, I'm storing my dumbbell outside uh, in a humid country. How do I actually maintain it? We'll roll, thanks to the roller, it makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, so push all the way back. Push them all the way back in here. And I have my rain cover, 